should a president, not President Obama, not Bush, any president, any party ever, directly call out a specific company? I suppose I don't have a problem in some grand theory about the president directing something at, a, at an American company. But the, well, but the specific situation here is really weird. One, the president may not have his facts rights. And two, a lot of folks on the left knew that something like this would happen, if indeed it happened, uh, that if you had this employer mandate, that businesses would respond because of that incentive. And what a lot of people don't realize is that most healthcare economists, whether on the left or on the right, think the idea of people getting uh, their health care benefits through their employer is a really bad idea, that it really raises health care costs, reduces wages, creates lots of terrible incentives, and that actually shouldn't be the case. So for the president, who I'm sure realizes that that is indeed what his own health care economists think, for the president then to attack a company for what is probably the better policy overall is weird. You know, Jared, it's an industry that's struggling, right? I mean, they keep merging, and, and there's going to be layoffs. There's been layoffs in the past. There's a risk, I suppose, that when you got somebody of the president's stature saying this, you're going to get people to say, you know what? I'm not going to shop there because the president is angry with them, and therefore, and that could just go to hurt the hourly workers. That's how I frame the yeah. story up. How do you frame it up? Well, that's a, a, a real concern, and I think it is an unfortunate incident. But the president had, as Jimmy kind of alluded to, incorrect information and and he, he probably would have been smarter to say well wait a second buzzfeed let me check out this accusation that staples is uh... not only cutting back workers hours because of the affordable care Act, but actually threatening to fire workers that would be shameful and he he was just given wrong information he reacted accordingly let me address the more substantive point jimmy is right there is an incentive in the affordable care act to keep workers hours below thirty uh... hours per week in order to avoid having to cover them but if you can put up a, a, a graph i shared with your crack production staff just about an hour ago uh... you will see that in fact this has not come to pass uh, and, and I think Jimmy and his colleagues uh, need to recognize this reality. Involuntary part-time work, which is exactly the type we're talking about here, people who want to work more hours but they can't get them, is down 20%. Voluntary part-time work is up about 5% over this period when everybody's been worrying about these impacts of the Affordable Care Act. For good reasons, which I can get into, in, into right. this incentive has not come to pass. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.